bikepacking on an electric bike can be a great way to explore the outdoors and cover longer distances with less effort. And it doesn't just have to be for 20-somethings. But I'll admit that being a little bit older than 20, I probably have many more concerns about bikepacking. Having had decades of experience with things not going as planned, I decided to look at what could go wrong if I went bikepacking on my Adventon Adventure 2. And I discovered a few things you'll want to know no matter how old you are before embarking on a bikepacking adventure on your electric bike. Let's take a look. My first concern, range. The range of an electric bike can vary depending on the terrain, how much you use the electric assist, the capacity of your e-bike's battery, and even your own weight. Oh yeah, and weather. And running out of charge in the middle of nowhere will not make you a happy camper. So when planning your bikepacking route, it's essential to take into account the range you can actually cover, not just how far your e-bike manual says your battery can go on a single charge. If you're unsure about your e-bike's range, you can conduct a range test before your trip. Start with a fully charged battery and ride in different conditions to see how far you can travel before the battery dies. This information can help you plan your route and estimate how long it will take to reach your destination. For example, suppose you plan to bike pack along a hilly route with your electric bike. In that case, it's essential to know how long your battery will last on hilly terrain, which will be much shorter than on flat terrain. Then you can safely plan your route to make it from point A to point B. I'll talk more about options for charging stations in just a bit. Number two, weight. Let's face it, electric bikes are heavier than traditional bikes due to the added weight of the battery, motor, and frame. This extra weight can make it challenging to navigate rough terrain or lift the bike over obstacles. Additionally, the more weight you carry on your bike packing trip, the faster your battery will be drained. Suppose you plan to bike pack on a mountainous route with your electric bike. In that case, the extra weight can make it challenging to climb steep hills. To overcome this, you can pack only essential gear, and I have some ideas on this coming up. Attach panniers or saddlebags to distribute the weight more evenly, and practice cycling on hills to build strength and endurance. Additionally, you might work on your strength and balance by incorporating strength training and balance exercises into your regular workout routine. My number three concern, charging. Charging your electric bike's battery is a critical aspect of bikepacking with an electric bike and one of my biggest concerns. But you can make sure you plan for charging stops along your route whether at campsites, accommodations, or other charging stations. If you're unsure where to find charging stations along your route, you can use online resources like PlugShare or ChargeHub to locate charging stations near your planned stops. You'll need to make sure each station offers level one charging for a typical e-bike battery charger and not just for electric cars. I've got a few more things you'll want to consider before bikepacking on your e-bike, but if you find this helpful, please take a moment to subscribe and get all of the latest e-biking info. My number four concern, terrain. Electric bikes can handle a variety of terrain, but you may need to adjust your speed and use of electric assist, depending on the conditions. In general, I use more pedal assist and throttle when climbing steep hills, yet reduce my speed when riding on rougher terrain. To overcome terrain challenges, it's important to have a plan in place for adjusting your electric bike settings as needed. Before heading out on your trip, you can experiment with different levels of electric assist and gear settings to find the best combination for different terrain. For example, Suppose you plan to bike pack on a route with a mix of flat roads and hills. In that case, you can increase your pedal assist level and lower your gear settings to make it easier to climb hills, but do the opposite to conserve battery life on flat roads. 
Number five, gear. When bike packing with an electric bike, you may need to pack less gear than you would with a traditional bike, as a throttle or pedal assist can make it easier to cover longer distances faster. However, it's still essential to bring the necessary camping gear and supplies, especially important medications. Here's another thought. If a problem arises with your gear, such as running out of food or water, you can try to conserve supplies by rationing them or finding alternative sources. For example, you can try fishing or foraging for food. You can also try to lighten your load by leaving behind any non-essential items, like your teddy bear. Or if you run out of water and can't find a natural water source, you can ration your remaining water and look for alternative sources like a nearby store or restaurant. But my favorite idea for pretty much any kind of travel is to bring lightweight gear and packable clothing. I've shared some ideas below the video to help you out with that. My sixth concern, maintenance problems. Before your bikepacking trip, make sure to have a professional tune-up, read the manufacturer's instructions on your specific e-bike, and have a plan for any necessary repairs while on the trip. If a problem arises with your e-bike, such as a flat tire or a malfunctioning motor, you can try to fix it yourself if you have the necessary tools and knowledge. For example, imagine you're bikepacking with your electric bike and you get a flat tire. If you have a spare tube and the correct tools, you can fix the flat yourself. If not, it's a good idea to know where the bike repair shops are along your route. You may have noticed that all of these solutions to bikepacking problems can use one essential item to get help, your smartphone. So don't forget to take yours along with its charger. Overall, bikepacking with an electric bike sounds like a fun and exciting way to explore the outdoors, even for older riders. Just make sure to plan ahead, pack the necessary gear, and be prepared for any challenges that may arise. Watch for my next video on bikepacking. I'm gonna focus on gathering the right supplies for the trip and share them with you. For now, Enjoy your ride.